For the longest period of time, I've told people that spot fat reduction does not happen. This is what we have read. We have never found a scientific study. But you know what? Finally, I've been proved wrong and research has just popped up from Norwegian University of Science and Technology at the St. Olaf's University Hospital in Norway. So this is about, Ryan Fernando, can I work out only my abs and can I burn fat? And I've always told people, no, you can't. There's no spot fat burning. But actually now in reality, they took 16 overweight males whose BMI was was over 29.8 and what they did is the age of these men were about 43 years on average plus or minus nine years of age so you know these are not young men or young athletes so basically bmi that was over 25 kg per meter square that's meaning you're obese above 25 and what they did is none of these participants exercised before the study matlab they were the couch potatoes they didn't exercise so what they did is they divided the participants eight which did abdominal exercise exercises plus endurance and another control group which did only endurance activity now what they did is they combined treadmill running with abdominal exercises specifically torso rotation and abdominal crunches now the protocol was this they made them run on the treadmill at 70 percent of their maximal heart rate for 27 minutes so this is the key okay 27 minutes of endurance exercise and they did four sets of four minutes of abdominal exercises that is the torso rotation and abdominal crunches and the total session duration for this group that did the ab crunches plus the endurance was 84 minutes and they made them work out four times a week for 10 weeks so 10 weeks is roughly two and a half months now the control group did only treadmill running they didn't do any sort of abdominal crunches and all of that stuff and they did the treadmill running for 45 minutes so please understand the abdominal guys went for 84 minutes they also did it for four days a week for 10 weeks now their energy of the group was matched that the diet was the same they didn't want them to do any other extra activities when this study was being conducted now what they found out is in the abdominal group those who did the studies there was a significant decrease in trunk mass 697 grams which is a three percent reduction compared to no change in the control group and total trunk fat mass reduction of seven percent wow that's amazing. So 3 to 7% reduction was seen. So the conclusion is this. Abdominal endurance exercises utilized more local fat compared to general treadmill running, indicating sport reduction is possible in the trunk region for overweight adult males. Now, word of caution. The study was not done on females. Uh, the study was done on middle-aged men. Please remember, when you start exercise suddenly, chances of hurting your body is very high. I highly suggest that you get in touch with me and I will provide you a physical fitness trainer. We run a brand called 21minutefit.com where in 21 minutes we enable people to work out in busy lifestyles. If you do decide to start adding abdominal crunches like, like I did, and my abs are really paining because for the last 10 years I have never done abs because I always read studies which says it doesn't work. And now this study comes out and I'm like, Dude, I need to do 16 minutes of ab crunches four times a week for 10 weeks straight. So I'm going to report back into you. But here's the thing that my trainer said. You can't suddenly start doing all of these abdominal crunches if you have not developed overall muscle strength. You could pop a hernia, meaning some part of your intestine can pop out. You could get um, appendicitis. Uh, you could strain or tear whatever the muscles fascia or ligament are there around your obliques or around your gut. Now, I'm no expert in exercise, so I rely on my trainer to help me. If you start these workouts, please collaborate it with a great diet that is built for lower calorie, correct amount of protein, correct amount of fiber, correct amount of vitamin and minerals after you've done your blood test. So in 2025, if you're looking for a transformation, this is my advice to you. Enroll for a nutrition plan. If money is not an issue for you, get a personal dietitian at the Quan Nutrition Clinics, get a personal physical trainer at your gym, or if you don't have time to go to the gym and find that good personal trainer, you could reach out to me at 21minutefit.com. And above all, I think this tells me that we should never stick to old science. Constantly look at the new science, look at the bio-individualization of person. So many of you may not be able to do abdominal exercises. So please consult your physician, your doctor, your sports physiotherapist. And if you don't know who to contact, please reach out to me. I know almost everyone in the Indian subcontinent who is a specialist in exercise, nutrition, sleep, meditation. I will help you in 2025 find that right person. God bless you. And remember, 
we can start loading this belly in 2025. My stomach's hurting, but I think it's going to be worth it. Stay tuned.